This is an attempt to show how to change the impeller uh, on a Mercury XR6 150 engine. This is a 1992 model. And I've already changed the impeller, but I've taken some pictures along the way. But I wanted to give some ideas as to uh, what needs to happen with this. When you're changing the impeller, you need to drop the lower unit. And so to do that, the lower unit's gonna separate right at this level. To do that, there's a screw in the back that's hidden. So you've got the electrolyte plate, which you need to take out. And you do that by removing the bolt that's in there the electrolyte plate will come off and then there'll be another screw right in here holding this on. Then on either side, <clears throat> you're going to have, see if I can get them in here, the screws right there. And you're gonna have this bolt. And then these guys, in here which there is not enough clearance to just take that out so what you have to do on these is you loosen them it drops down loosen them some more it drops down and keep doing that now one other issue the first time I had done this is this line is the uh, water pressure that goes back to your console and tells you how fast you're going, which mine hasn't worked for years. There's a uh, plastic coupler and mine's been smashed for years. And this time when we took it apart, it actually broke off. But you have to, un you have to remove this because that will just go right on down in there and it go, where the it goes in some holes hard to tell it's moving around and the it's in my case it's right next to the shifter so what you'll do is you'll take all those off drop the unit and my unit just drops right out so there's the other bolt on the other side that doesn't have any clearance and then there's a shaft that goes all the way up into the engine the shaft that goes all the way up into the engine and that's the you know i don't know what it's called but that's probably three foot long so then once you get that loose you can see the impe impeller housing and you just unscrew it with a couple bolts. And I think there's the three bolts on it, bolts, caps for screws. And then you, um, after that, you just, you know, pull it up. You'll see the direction of the old impeller in my case this time it stayed in the cap slide that off and then um, take the uh, there'll be a, a I don't know if it's a washer material it's almost like a cardboard not being a mechanic uh, and then there's a metal plate and then another of the cardboard type washer you just lift those out, put new ones in, uh, put the impeller in. We used a little bit of uh, uh, dish soap to lube it up a little bit. Put it back in and uh, put it all together. And, you know, bolt it down. Then try and put the... Then we tried to put the lower unit back up in. And obviously, you, you get, you have about that much to go, and it will not go. Um, you have to make sure 
that you're going to line up your gear shifter, which we really have not had an issue with. But you get that, that little you know, half an inch and just bang, bang, bang. So what we had to do is we come over and you can see the flywheel. So there's the flywheel. So what we do is we put a screwdriver on that flywheel and just push it. And that moves that drive shaft just enough. You keep moving it until you can uh, push it up into the thing, rebolt it, and you should be good to go. The other thing we could have done is we could have removed the cover up here and turned the flywheel, but we were able to get at it, uh, you know, from the side. So then once I got it uh, all built again, we, um, you know, start the engine, put the earmuffs on, make sure the water's coming out the, you know, the pee hole here, which it did right away. And I put it in, in re reverse. Very, you know, make sure your earmuffs are on so they're not going to hit the, bl the prop. And then uh, I put it in reverse, made sure the prop spun, put it in forward, made sure the prop spun, and you should be good to go. This is the water pump repair kit. I could have just ordered the impeller, but I ordered the whole kit. Yeah, that won't stay open. This is the old impeller. And you can see, gave me the direction that the uh, old impeller was in. Really wasn't in that bad a shape. And the key that goes in for holding that impeller in place, I don't know where to put it. Replacement tube. And then there's a number, because this is for a number of different engines, you have to pick and choose which components are gonna work for, for your boat. I mean, this is an old, old one. This was in my boat. This was in the boat and probably this one. So those are probably the the, the three pieces that I had in uh, my boat. But the kit comes with the parts. It's got washers, uh, O-rings. This part goes up here. Uh, it also gives you uh, the yellow that you can see in there. Those are the washers for doing oil changes. I don't know if I showed that part will go right up here and the shaft comes out there. Actually, got it wrong, shaft comes out here. So that just sits up there and that shaft comes out there. So the shaft comes out here and that washer just sits on there. Uh, so that's the kit and the difference the kit I had ordered uh, a number of years ago was a T8, ended with T8, and this ends with a uh, Q8. It's a uh, Quicksilver versus probably a Mercury product.